Hello Electronics 10, this is your online review of major concepts in the class for the year. So, basic electronic circuit you see in front of you. This year we used a breadboard to do circuits. Breadboards we found out through our investigation. Uh, along the bottom and the top, it's all connected in rows. And then in the two middle sections here, they are connected in columns of five holes. Okay, so that's how we connect them together. This simple circuit here is a sensor circuit that we finished the year with, and we're going to use it as an example to go over our major ideas that we learned in the year. In any electronic circuit, there will be voltage and there will be current. Voltage is measured in volts, current measured in amps. In this case here we have 9 volts and we also have 10 milliamps of current. And the 9 volts provides the push to allow the current to flow in the circuit. Okay? At any point in the circuit we could take a meter and measure the voltage across resistors, across our processor, across our light, uh, and we measure a voltage. To measure the current, we would have to actually break the circuit and insert our meter in here somewhere to measure the current in the circuit. If the circuit is broken at any point and there's no complete connection to complete the cycle, then the current will not flow and your circuit will not work. In this circuit here, we have, uh, four, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five basic parts you always will have some kind of a power supply on this, okay? In the power supply, you have three pieces that will always be there. You have a power source, in this case, a 9-volt battery. You have a power switch. The switch is a normal toggle switch, back and forth, on and off, okay? And you have a diode. The diode is in the circuit to allow the current to flow one way and one way only. If we look at the diode closely, really closely, you will see on one side of the diode, whoa, sorry, there is a black band. And that black band indicates the negative side of the diode. Okay, that is the power side of the circuit. Now, on the other sides of the circuit here, we have an input, we have a processor, and we have an output. The input is a push-button switch. Okay, and you can see the light going on. When I push the input switch, which could be attached to a door or a window, uh, anything like that, could be a drawer, if that drawer, in this case, it's closing, when the push button is pushed, the light on the output goes on. Okay, The input side, the push button is across, connected to a resistor, Okay, so that when you push this push button, the uh, amount of current will flow through the resistor. Okay, Then we have current, once the push button is pressed, the current will flow in to our processor here, which turns on and then allows the light to turn on on the output. Okay, that's our basic operation. The power supply side just controls whether the voltage comes across or not. Okay, if I was to turn the power switch off, then it doesn't turn on at all, does it? I press the switch, nothing happens turn on the switch, I get power, and the circuit works again. So if we take a closer look here, we saw the power supply side. If we have a look at the input side, okay, you can see that there is a push button connected to a resistor across the input. The reason the in resistor is there is since the switch is attached to positive, and the resistor is attached to negative, the current will flow through there. If we did not have the resistor there and just had the switch, if we push the switch, we would get a short circuit on the battery and kill our battery. Okay, so that's why the resistor is there. 
Once we have something on the input, we're going to have the processor. The resistor on the left is what carries the current into the blue wire, which then goes into our processor. You had two types of processors here. You have a momentary processor, which only turns on when a signal comes to it. That's a, a transistor. And then you also have a latching processor. The latching processor is called an SCR. So the latching processor will turn on and stay on even when the signal from the input goes away. Then on the output you see we have our standard LED and a resistor so that when the processor turns on it allows current to flow through the resistor and the LED turning the circuit on and the light on. That is everything in a nutshell. Again, key points in the circuit, you have voltage, you have current, all of the devices in the circuit will use up a certain amount of voltage, the current remains the same, and those are our basic concepts.